Hi, this is Paul from Wave5Trade.com and this is my daily stop signals video for Friday the 21st of September and as I try and do on a Friday I look at a longer term swing trading opportunity from our stock scanner membership. In our members area, members get the chance to download spreadsheets every day on potential long fifth wave trades on the 60 minute the daily and the weekly time frame and also short fifth wave trades on the same time frames along with stochastic long and stochastic short trades on intraday the spreadsheet for today I'm looking at longs on the weekly time frame so a longer term swing and uh, in the members area here for potential fifth wave trades for the 21st September simply click on the image download the spreadsheet which looks something like this for today so these are the potentially weak potential weekly time frames for this fifth wave move higher the longs I'm going to look at a chart now I've chosen EMN I did this video at the beginning of August and uh, it's made a slightly new wave for low uh, but it's still kept in with our parameters so first of all this is our Elliott wave indicator suite for the ninja trader NT8 version just want to show you the whole trend we've got these lows back in February 2017 and then since then on the weekly chart for EMN we've had one two three and then the wave four now the wave four just found support in the top of our green zone earlier on in August since then it's made a slightly new uh, low but did reject those lows last week and then confirmed this week so setting up again so let's have a look at the uh, chart on the think or swim version uh, a little bit closer so this is the think or swim version for our Elliott Wave Indicator Suite from wave5trade.com. We do now want to take a closer look at this. So the white ellipse here in our green pullback zone was from the original video. We were going to enter above $105 outside of our 6-4 moving average high, which is a green moving average. It didn't make it. It didn't trigger. And then we came back down and made some new lows. Last week, remember this is the weekly uh, chart. Last week we had the big rejection there, which is really good. And then this week we've had a pretty solid green green bar so far. I know there's one more day left, but this is good. This is a good move away from this rejection here. So looking like we're having another go at this bullish move. Now, sensible entry here would be above this pivot. So when we first made the video in the beginning of August, it did move away from these lows, but didn't quite make it. It rejected the highs at 104 and then came back down to make those new lows. So sensibly now, if we break through the $104 level, we'd look to move higher. And this is how these fifth wave trade works. So let's look at the stop losses below the current wave four, around about 95, 30, something like that. The entry 104.11, so it's way outside the 6.4 moving average high, which is part of our earlier wave indicator suite used for conservative entries, and then also above this pivot point here. And also, if you look left above this pivot point uh, during the wave three, so sensible entry gives us a good risk reward into our automated target zone here, around about $118 the target of 1 to 1.6. Again, very simple. The original video from the 3rd of August, I'll put the link at the, uh, below this video so you can watch that again. And, and this is how our stock scanner membership really really comes into its own for these longer term swings if they don't trigger and we pull back as long as they keep our criteria which is the wave four find support in one of our pullback zones the green is 85 percent probability it's going to go on and make that new wave five high into our automated target zone there the amber it's 80 percent and the red is 75 percent again remember we need to see how the wave four behaves and the wave four pullback on this oscillator, the top of the two subcharts, should be between 90 and 140%. It's still there, it's still good. And then the stochastic crosses over in the oversold zone against the false breakout stochastic, which is the yellow bar at the top of the in the overbought zone here in the stochastic on the bottom subchart. So that's gonna again. So it's crossed over twice now. We're looking for it to move. If it doesn't move again and go through $104, it's most likely to pull back even further, and it will probably break our criteria for the 535 oscillator. But at this moment in time, the rejection last week, the good higher high this week, the good solid candle looks really good for an entry, but we still have to be sensible. 104.11 entry for EMN on the weekly time frame. This could take 
uh, anything up to 20 weeks to, to reach target. So be prepared if you're trading options to, to look longer in the future. Okay, so that's it for today and this week. Have a great trading day, great weekend. Speak to you all on Monday.